Hey guys, welcome back to PHT TV. Uh, after the Forte 4 was released, we had a request, well, we had many, many requests <laughs> to dive back and bring the heresy, bring back the heresy versus the Forte. So now that we have fourth generation on both, honestly, this is gonna be a tough comparison. With the upgrades, upgrades in both of these guys, it has gotten a little bit closer. <laughs> well, you know, I, I said it before when we did the uh, some of the other listings, uh, the Forte 4 listing originally, mm -hmm. that is a huge step in the right direction to putting that speaker in the proper place in line in that stair step of the heritage mm -hmm. line. And the heresy's always been there because I mean, it's been there for, it was originally designed as the center for the K-horn. Well, so it's, it's the been baby of the bunch. So it's <laughs> gonna be the small, slowest one on the totem pole. I mean, it's just kind of the, you know, but having the, the step between the heresy up to the Cornwall was a pretty big step. And by having that forte in the middle, it really smooths that out a little bit. It does, and I mean, the, the frequency response on that, we have what, 10? 10 hertz. 10 hertz difference in the two. Yeah. So the frequency response on the Forte goes from 38 hertz to 20 K hertz, and then the Heresy is 48 to 20. You know, when you look at those numbers, you have to take in mind that that's a variant. You know, it, it can go plus or minus 4 dB. I mean, so it can be uh, 44 hertz, or it could be 52 hertz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as the low end. So that that's depending on where that is on the line and how they take that curve. And it's also not like it, well, you know, as soon as it hits 48 hertz, it drops off, right? Yeah, it's, it's just, like brick wall. There's, there's nothing, brick nothing wall. there. <laughs> no, nothing there, no. It doesn't work that way anymore, especially with the ported cabinet. Yeah. It rolls off quite a bit differently. The knee of that roll off is, is actually shaped different when you look at a sealed versus a ported or base reflex enclosure. And, and completely different when you look at a horn folded, a horn enclosure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As it's sealed with a horn, it works a little weirder. <laughs> uh, but, and we'll have to talk about that when we move up in the line to the La Scala. Yeah, so I mean, we've actually, uh, we've done Heresy versus Forte already. We've done Forte versus Cornwall. You guys have seen all those, but we have not done Cornwall versus La Scala. So we're taking a little bit of a break in the, st in the standard tier because we had so many requests to do this new gen versus new gen, so. You ready to get started? Yeah, I had a whole lot of people complaining. I just bought the Forte 3. You didn't make a mistake. No. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. Forte it's, 3 is still awesome. Forte 3 is a great <laughs> speaker, and, and, and I would not consider uh, that as a mistake at all. I mean, it, 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 they, they did, they, it held its own very well to the Forte 4, but it, Forte 4 helped put it in it a better standing in that, in that yeah. stair step. It's, it's, the Forte 3 is great on its own, but the Forte 4, it kind of changes the signature to put it more in line with the Heritage series versus yeah. all around the with, general with series. With the current Heritage line versus where the Forte was in the past. So I, I, uh, I commend Klipsch on, on actually turning around and redoing a speaker that they just did a couple of years ago. You know, in the history of Klipsch, usually 18 months is the time frame it takes to get a speaker from point A to in your hands. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, <clears throat> for them to turn around and do the Forte 4, just after doing the Forte 3, not much more than 18 months before, says something about them being dedicated to getting that in that line stair-stepped like they wanted it. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's great that they're spending the effort to make that, that line stand as proud as it always has after 75 years. And it fits in a great spot right in between those. Yeah. Like you said before, it's a, it's a nice position. So, uh, you wanna start with Matt today? Sure, yeah. Right. Which one? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with Matt, uh, Matt Summers today. Matt Summers, okay. Um, we haven't listened to this one yet. This song is called Nine by Matt Summers. Let's take a listen. Where do we start, Forte? Heresy. Okay. Forte.
that that uh, synthesizer in the background doing the ping pong doodly 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 stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you could hear it really far in the background, but blended with the forte and the heresy, those individual pieces tended to stand out a little bit differently. I'm not saying it's better or worse, but it was different the way it represented itself for me. The the instruments were more uh, more defined, but the image was more pleasing from the forte. I, I don't know how I can explain it better than that, really. That was weird. Let's try a different cut. Maybe yeah. that's the that's the key. Oh yeah, that was a that was a good one. Um, but the bottom end in both of them sounded good. I was impressed that the heresy was keeping up. The heresy is keeping up in this fourth gen, man. It's <laughs> this one's the value of all by Dracon. It's a little bit heavier and. Let's get, get some intense movement going A little going bit on. heavier. We're past grunge at this point. Yeah, we're past grunge. <laughs> <laughs> More on the metal side. So, The Value of All by Dracon. What's bothering me is we're more on axis with the horns on the heresy than we are on the forte because of that riser, that slant riser. Yeah. And I'm actually getting a better, better representation of the vocals out of the heresy than I am the forte. And I think it's because of the angle of this horn. Because on the fortes, I'm a, my ears above angle of that horn by. 10 degrees at least, 15 degrees. Well, it's a, it's not an extremely high vertical horn anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of in the 30% off axis or more range of that horn setting up like this. Whereas, because we're, we're setting taller than we normally would in the chair at the house. My couch isn't, I don't set this high, you know? Drop down some? I, I could drop down some. Where's, where's the, <laughs> you know, that puts my ear closer to the, to the same level. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Play that cut some more with it down lower, see if it makes a difference. Short of the drum work being a little sloppy, it's pretty good. So, man. When I dropped in the seat, dropped down a little lower so I was better on axis, I was in some kind of a weird null at full up Between the two of them? Well, no, at the height of the, at the, height of the tweeter. Mm -hmm. You know, as you move off, off axis of the horn, it creates a cloverleaf pattern. Uh, in the response, instead of being a circle, it starts mm -hmm. to clover leaf. The mumps on the horn help solve some of that clover leaf, but it doesn't solve it all. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to be in just the right spot that it was really in the good spot for the heresy, but a bad spot for the forte. <laughs> so by dropping it down, you know, what was Put it? Yourself right in the middle? Yes, yeah, six or eight inches, I dropped myself, my ear got out of that null, and all of a sudden the vocals were almost as proud in both places. So, you know, that's one of the things when it comes to coverage and placement, placement in your room and your room acoustics and all that that you, you want to pay attention to when you're setting your room up. Because just that little bit of arbitrary, you know, movement made a complete, because I was leaning strong toward the heresy. Mm -hmm. And by dropping down, it brought that mid-range back to where I expected it to be with Forte. And it, now I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we did we did matt summers we did we did drake on um you want to go punk or do you want to go to something a little lighter let's do punk and then go lighter all right so 
This one is called Everything by Distill. You guys have heard this in some of our previous episodes. Um, kind of a garage band punk style. Let's see what we got. Still a little torn. That's what I said. I leaned over and tapped you and said, "Ah, this isn't making it easy." <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I'm still don't know. I, we're this at track more three, music. and we haven't gotten a, we haven't gotten a final say yet. A consensus. What are you thinking? You want to do Jason Helms or Trey Johnson next? Uh, let's do uh, let's do Trey. Trey. So yeah, it's kind of opposite end of the spectrum from what we've been uh, what we've been hearing so far. Singer songwriter, um, single guy. And a live guy. live recording as opposed yeah. to a mix. So it's just a little lighter in the volume, so we may have to crank it a little harder to get get the volume on because it's a live mix. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Words and trouble don't wear me down. Burden so heavy, help can't be found. Broken down, hard, I'm lost and alone. Somebody bring my baby back home. I said, somebody please. Somebody please. I'm on my knees, honey. Won't you come on home? This heartache here ain't leaving so. Driving in tip at night. I think that mid-range on the forte is more natural than his voice. Just because I know his voice. <laughs> I'll say I've never met him before. I was leaning towards the heresies. <laughs> I mean, you tell it's him both places. I feel like the heresies feel more live, though. I disagree. I think that sounds more live because you're getting the ambience in the room and that stomp. How's that? How's that? <laughs> I love it. Man. I love it. So 
Sounds like we're opposite ends of the spectrum on this. I'm on the. I think the forte was more open and more lively, to me. Uh, knowing and seeing him play, and it, it that sounded more like my memory, which is three seconds long, <laughs> <laughs> for audio anyway. Yeah. Uh, maybe four when it comes to everything else. But I don't know. I don't know if it was the uh, the compression when they created the track or, or playback compression or what it was, but it seemed like that the Heresy was a little more of a studio recording to me or, you know, how it had been contained a little bit in the dynamics compared to the Forte. It seemed like it opened up a little bit to me. It was contained almost in a smaller box? Yeah, but <laughs> we know that. But, but uh, and yes, the motorboard's going to make a difference on how that resonance resonates. Uh, and the resonance of the cabinet, obviously, but, but uh, so that's not going to help them make their decision at all because we've got three tracks that we well, were torn on. That's not my fault. I'm just three. getting my two cents. They have to make their own decision. We have three tracks that were torn on, and the the, the most lo- least recent one we disagree on. <laughs> well, let's try number next one. Six. Next that's one, number five. five. Let's see. All right, so this one's a country track. Jason uh, Helms for the tiebreaker. Tiebreaker, my kind of woman. <laughs> That low frequency cutting in. They both have it. She loves four-wheel drives and back road rides on a Friday night. Saturday morning cartoons with the kids. She's all country curves in a white t-shirt and a faded pair of jeans. And I can't believe that she's with me. She's my kind of wife. Even though she knows her work is never done. She's first Don't tell me you're torn again. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I feel exactly the opposite here. With every song, see that kind of Violin on the heresy, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting saying we'd do this video. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this was going to be a difficult one when they upgraded. Man, I didn't know it was going to be that hard. I think we're out of tracks and still don't have a decision. Not that we ever have a hard decision anyways, it's more make up your own mind, go listen to them yourself, but, man, man I'm <laughs> jinx. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I think it comes down to track choice about which one I like the most. Uh, the 10 hertz difference on the bottom end meant nothing to me. Yeah, that, we, I had no I problem. To, whenever I heard the bass response kick in, I was like, all right, let's switch real quick. And was, I wasn't missing anything in the heresy. Yeah, no, I, there, there wasn't enough enough difference between them in the bottom end listening to these cuts that it, that I was missing anything. Now it's more going to come down to the mid-range. Yeah, it was in, in fit and finish. It's how you want it to look because, uh, uh, wow, I did not expect them to be that daggum close. Well, you guys wanted it. I'm not sure if we actually helped you at all. <laughs> if you guys are considering buying these guys, um, you are going to have to go listen to the music that you like. The track that you're listening to makes all the difference in the world. So go into store, go into a store, go into a showroom. Take your take your device with you. Take a phone with you. Take something that has the music that you listen to on it and play it through these speakers. That's going to be the best way to tell what's best for you. It's a tough one, tough call, but they both sound amazing. <laughs> Again, props to the team. They did a great job. The yes. company's done a, good, a great job placing these in, in stair step. If you look at the, how much things cost, I mean, that may be a, a determining factor mm-hmm. for some folks. The fit and finishes uh, can be basically the same, except physical size. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, if, if you're uh, 
if you're in a position, I mean, it, it may just be the way it looks in your room. You know, a Forte may look better in their room than a Heresy. So, yeah, I mean, man, go into a showroom, make your own decision because we got nothing more to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching and you are not subscribed, please click that subscribe button below. It helps greatly and it helps us keep track of uh, wh who is liking what and where to go from here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe below and we will see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. Thanks for watching. Five o'clock on Whoa, that was lower than I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> we dropped those down a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> I'm glad we got that on camera because that's gonna be cute, your face. <laughs> you made a great uh, I was face. gone. I thought that was over. Life flashed before my eyes.